All right, fifth grade, lesson 101, just like the Dalmatians, rounding mixed numbers today. So a mixed number is something like this, seven and a half. Anytime there's a whole number, anytime there's a whole number along with a fraction, that's what we call a mixed number. So when you get a mixed number, you round them the same way you would round decimals. If it's halfway, you go down. If it's more than halfway, you round up to the next whole number. All right, so in this example, um, JD had six and two-fifths yards of rope. Estimate the length of rope he had by rounding six and two-fifths to the nearest whole number. You can go ahead and do this one on your own if you wish. Six and two-fifths, uh, two out of five. We know that that is closer, six and two-fifths, that is closer to six than it is to seven. And so we'd round it to about six uh, yards. <clears throat> if it was six and three-fifths, now that's closer to seven, so we would have rounded that to seven yards. All right. Kylie estimated the area of this rectangle as 45 square inches. Did Kylie make a reasonable estimate? Go ahead, try this on your own. See if 45 square inches is reasonable. So if I'm estimating here before I find the area, and I know the area is length times width, uh, 8 and 7 eighths is closer to 9. So I'm going to round that to 9 inches here. And 5 and 1 fourth is closer to 5, so I'm rounding that to 5 inches here. And then all I have to do is multiply length times width. 5 times 9 gives me 45 inches. So this is estimate reasonable? Uh, yes, yes it is reasonable. All right, last example here. Estimate the perimeter of a rectangle picture frame that is five and one eighth inches long and 10 and three fourths inches wide. You can go ahead and try this one on your own as well. So perimeter is different than area. Area is length times width. Perimeter is when you take your figure and you add up all the sides. <clears throat> so if, if this is my figure and one side is 15 and 1 eighths and one side is 10 and 3 fourths, uh, I'm going to estimate by rounding. So 15 and 1 eighth becomes 15. And 10 and 3 fourths is closer to 11, so that would become 11. And now I just add these up. So 15 plus 11 plus another 15, plus another 11, All right? And then I would get, let's see, 15 plus 15, that gives me 30. 11 plus 11 gives me 22. Add those up, that gives me 52 inches would be a good estimate for the picture frames perimeter. All right, here's what your lesson practice looks like. This is part of your assignment. Blessings on the rest of your day.